Hi, welcome back to Cold Stream Rod Shop. I'm Derek Fraser. We're going to do a spotlight on our own car here that I built six years ago, or finished six years ago, that is. Kind of go over all the different things we did, uh, or I did, to build the car, uh, including all the body modifications and stuff. So this car started off basically as an old Model A, a sitting on a frame that uh, got dragged here from Saskatchewan. It landed about I guess it's just a little over eight years ago. Um, it took me two years and one week. We were really trying to do it in two years, um, but it actually took two years and one week to finish it. Uh, when it actually drove up and down the road with a plate on it and everything. So again, what it is, it's a 1929 Model A sedan. Um, the top is, the roof is chopped three and a half inches. Um, all of the body seams of the Model A have been completely welded, not just tacked, but actually completely welded. So, as you can probably notice, those people that know the Model A's quite well, normally there would be a line right here, and you can see the line where it meets up the cowl. But again, everything is completely welded. Everything, it, it's all steel. Um, the gas tank is cut out of the original cowl. The hole is filled uh, with a steel patch. Um, on the roof, normally they would have been open with a piece of material onto it, but I filled this with a Montana roof. I picked up a junkyard. It's rotated 180 degrees, and it, again, it's fully welded all the way around. That took probably an entire afternoon to weld it because the metal from the newer cars is so much thinner than even the rusted metal from an old Model A. So it took quite a bit of time going around to make sure I didn't distort anything. The other modification that I did to the body itself is that all of the wood that was stuck inside, like the, the B pillars and stuff that you would have attached uh, upholstery to in the original days, I've actually put one by one steel tubing through all the B pillars. There's one by one steel tubing going all the way around so to get the extra reinforcing. I don't know, hopefully you can see. I'll shine a light in here. And you can see the one by one steel tubing that's over up above the doors. And it's going down the different pillars to provide the support. The car's finished on the inside upholstery rise up to the belt line. We haven't got and finished the top or put a headliner in. That's that's on the to-do list. The Model A body is sitting on a 32 Ford frame, which is not the same shape as a Model A. In the back of a 32 Ford, the frame kicks up. So on the Model A body, I actually had to build a subframe that came up and went over the 32 frame that's into it because it kicks up in the back. The other thing I had to do was build a box in the back to put a gas tank because Model A's would have the gas tank and a dash, and really there's nowhere to put it. So in the back here, I'll just lift this up. I have the gas tank and the battery, and we've got kind of like a fake back seat, so to speak. And that's all built in the steel box there. Um, another modification around the back to the body that we did is I really like the Teardrop 39 Ford lights, and then I like the French DIN style um, license plate. For fenders, they're 29 Model A sedan fenders that we just bobbed up. We're supposed to run fenders here in Nova Scotia. Um, some people don't. Um, I put them on. Um, the wheels, they're Vintec steel rims. Uh, and coker white white wall tires. Around the front for suspension, I've got a four inch dropped I beam front suspension with hairpin radius rods. The disc brakes in the front. For steering, it is a unisteer half rack. It basically sits in the place of where a Vega steering block would sit, and it works like a rack and pinion steering, but it's a cross steering effect. Very, very tight, very stable on the highway. 
The engine, um, that's something I didn't build. I mean, I did everything I talked about so far myself. Um, the engine started life as a 351 Windsor motor. The only thing that really is stock onto it is the block. Um, so it's a 410 stroker motor. So that's basically you put a four inch crank, steel crank, forged connecting rods, um, forged pistons uh, in a 351 Windsor. And when you bore it out 40 thou, that's 410 cubic inches. Um, I think it's 9.3 to 9.4 to one compression ratio in the engine. There's a comp cam stumper camshaft in it. The heads are aluminum heads. They're aftermarket heads. Have 202, 160 valves into it. There are 210 cc intake runners onto them, so they're pretty big heads. The engine will runs better at higher RPMs. Edelbrock intake manifolds, quick fuel 750 carburetor on it. Um, We've talked to a few people who built engines like this. We didn't dyno it, but it should be around 450 to 475 horsepower and 500 foot-pound torques. That's what typically people are making out of engines like this, which is more than enough for just over, I think the car weighs probably 2,600 pounds or so. Transmission is a C6 transmission in it, fully rebuilt with a shift kit. Um, more than enough to, to take the engine and the power that goes through it. In the back, it goes to a Ford 9-inch rear end. The rear end is narrowed just like it is on the 32 pickup. I, forget, I think it's like 8 or 9 inches I narrowed it. It's, it's out of an F-150. The pinion is centered, so that means that one axle is longer than the other. So that means I've got a straight line between the pinion going up straight to the transmission. Got coilover shocks in the back, uh, disc brakes, and a triangulated four-link susp um, suspension like I do on the 32 pickup as well. Um, I think that pretty much covers it on, on the interior. Uh, we've got uh, dolphin gauges. I bought that insert um, off of eBay. And I cut it to fit and then just did some engine turning onto it to make it look a more no little nostalgic. Low car shifter. Uh, I got the steering column from Speedway. A little dirty right now, but uh, we're going to take her for a drive here and probably set her up for the rest of the season. The dash is a 32 Ford dash built to go into a Model A. The seats, I got those out of a Subaru uh, and modified the bottoms. We're planning to reupholster those as well, just basically make it black. So, I mean, the car is 90% complete, still a few things to do. Windows roll up front and back, just like they used to. I think that covers everything on it. Uh, if you have any questions, um, send me a message. I'll be happy to talk about it, like I am most of my cars. Um, but right now we'll take her for a drive. Uh, you'll hear her run down the road. Hey, here we are. Forgot to mention that the engine was built by DWA Automotive and DeBert. He's the same guy as Danny Andrews that built the engine in the 351 Cleveland. So everything is balanced, blueprint, clearance, just like a race motor. So this thing's going to last us a long time. We've had it for six years, like I said has 10,000 miles onto it. So we're just gonna take her out here for a little spin.
So here it is. This hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, it's our 1929 Model A. Hopefully you caught the little burnout. Maybe the last drive we have of the season. Not sure. It's pretty cool here now. It's November. Um, one thing I'll mention is that we do have some t-shirts for Coldstream Rod Shop. I think you've seen it uh, on our a few times. Um, I've worn them. Uh, basically it's a picture of the 29 Model A on the front and then we've got a back view too. So it's a three color t-shirt and it's really soft uh, cotton material. They're $30 Canadian plus shipping. Uh, I think that works out to about 25 US plus shipping. Anybody interested send us a message. We have them from medium up to 4XL. The 3 and 4XL we've got limited quantities but they're not the soft material. Um, it's the, the double XL down to the medium, so it's the really soft uh, cotton material. We just couldn't get it in the bigger sizes. So if you're interested, uh, shoot us a message. Um, it'll be the cost of the t-shirt and whatever it costs to ship. So we're, anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the 29 Model A. Uh, we've enjoyed it for the past six years. There's, like I said, there's just over 10,000 miles onto it. Um, Love to drive it, take it to the car shows, have fun with it. And uh, anyways, hopefully you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe, send your comments, and uh, everybody have a great weekend. Take care.